Kessel, I'm from Kessel. I call him Kessel, he said. <laughs> Jacob Stitch Duran, tell me, brother, we're here for uh, Usyk versus Witherspoon. Kind of a crazy time, man. Um, fighters keep getting popped for stuff. That's what, What's your thought on that? I think it's uh, it's insane. You know, I know Tyrone's Ty Ty fun. Run for many, many years to kickboxing. And I was looking forward to seeing a fight because he has skills. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, that's a common occurrence when you fight in, uh, in Japan anyway. Mm -hmm. It's a shame. It is, man, it is. But we got a, a, a good scrap, even with Chaz Witherspoon, been undefeated for six years. Uh, but he's taking on a big uh, a big challenge in the, the undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world, Danusik. What you do you know, think? You got nothing to lose, man. You know, never did a game because, you know, for the most part, Chaz Witherspoon uh, has been out of the mix for some time. So why not get right in the limelight again? What do you think about that 25-pound uh, weight uh, advantage that Chaz has? Weighs 25 pounds more, yeah. yeah this thing was going to be about skills anyway. Oh, really? Not, not so much about weight. How do you see Usyk, being that you said that, right, and all these other kind of the, the cream of the crop at heavyweights are all giants, you know what I mean? They're all big guys. I, I, how does that play out at that level when the guy's big and has great skills? Well, that's a different thing. You're talking about the Wilder, the Giants, yeah, and, 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 yeah. and the Ortiz, the big, big Giants. Yeah. Different thing. You know, like I said, we've just been out, out of the mix at the A level for such time that, you know, that would balance out. But I guess those big, big guys, it's a different world. What is Usyk's, I guess, uh, I, I, who of those, the top four guys, what do we have? Fury, Wilder, uh, Ruiz, Joshua. Where do you see kind of, I guess, his uh, most success? Good question, man. I don't know. You know uh, I would say with uh, Joshua. Joshua? Probably, probably be his best. The best uh, stylistic opportunity. Yeah, so, speaking of Joshua, he has a, he has a big fight himself. He, you know, he, he's uh, Ruiz too. That's a great fight, man. But what do you think about that? Uh, I'll be there. I'm looking with Jesse Vargas. You know, I don't like to predict fights because, you know, I'm sure the last one everybody predicted after the judge oh, right. would whoop the shit out of him. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that didn't happen, bro. Yeah. You know, so I don't like to pick him. I just like to work with him. What do you, what, as, do you see like, um, do you favor either one, I guess? Well, you know, I like, I, I worked with uh, uh, Ruiz early in his career. Mm -hmm. And I worked one fight with him. And, of course, you know, Anthony Joshua fought that in Pritzko when Pritzko lost his title. So, no, you know, I'm neutral. Mm -hmm. It's a good fight. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, I'm glad for Ruiz because he, uh, he brought out the, the Mexican Warrior. Yeah. That was a pretty incredible that night. What, what, what was your, when you were watching that, were you there actually? I don't no, know. You might no, have even been there. No, I wasn't there. Oh, okay. I, uh, yeah, I saw uh, uh, Joshua get a little shell shot. Yeah. And that just motivated uh, the Mexican warrior and Ruiz. The, the confidence I feel of Andy Ruiz now has to be through the roof, right? I mean, yeah. you. Yeah, of course. You know, <laughs> why not? You know, to have such a devastating win like that and. and uh, You'll pick anybody's confidence. Up. Definitely, Stitch. What's uh, what's going on with you, man? What's uh, what's next? What's what's happening? Uh, bare knuckle fights next week. I just uh, picked up Shakir Stevenson. I'll be working with him, and uh, uh, we just started filming a documentary on my life. Oh, I'm excellent! Close to the garden, and uh, the garden obviously is Madison Square Garden. Mm -hmm. So, by the grace of God, Triple G was fighting there last weekend. So uh, they gave us carte blanche to get some footage. Uh, like it just started yeah. last week. So it's like a six to eight month project. And growing up in the fields, you know, there, there's a farm worker. We'll be going down to uh, Panada to uh, see where I grew up and all that. So, uh, it's so amazing, man. Blessed. blessed, definitely, for sure. Is that where James almost playing you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he should, huh? He should. <laughs> uh, I'll talk to him. <laughs> there you go. Appreciate you, sir. Thank you, man.